So some, some coward fired shots at officers, and, and now we have four in the hospital. But thankfully, and, and thank God, they're alive. They're alive. But I, I you, you, <laughs> can we make some sense out of this? Can we make some sense out of this? That's all I'm trying to say. Uh, 18 people were shot last night. Why? Because the city has given our streets back. When I say the city, our city council, our mayor's office, and the state legislature have handcuffed police officers and given the streets back to the criminal. People are trying to kill police officers. We have officers that are being followed home. The Madison sheriff had his house surrounded. Why are our families, why are our families now being targeted? Police officers literally took our street corners back block by block because our leadership asked us to, and we presented these neighborhoods back to the good, hardworking people that were in them. Well, this administration decided that's not good. But all, all that was going on tonight was people throwing rocks, uh, ex uh, throwing explosives on officers, trying to throw gas. Officers uh, exhibited extraordinary restraint. And, and, and when they, try, when they tried, to, tried to seize upon headquarters, we used, some, we used some munitions to put people back, but that was after officers had been, rocks had been thrown at them, after um, a fireworks had been exploded upon them. There's peaceful protesters that are angry for what happened in Minnesota, and we get that, and we'll work with that. But there's also people that are taking advantage to loot our cities, to burn our cities, and make no mistake, throughout the nation, there's individuals or groups out there that want to burn a police station down. And make no mistake about it, there's nothing about politically correct in a gunfight. There's nothing about politically correct when you're keeping people alive and well and safe. And the people of this community and these law enforcement officers come first. I meant every word of it then, and I mean every word of it now. When a criminal hears from City Hall, there's going to be a soft touch on crime. They know exactly what that means. It means there's a smorgasbord on the street and we're going to take advantage of it. We're going to take one billion dollars from your budget because there was a slogan on a sign at a march and then the mayor says we're going to do that. Defund the police. Defund the police. Well, what's next? Mm -hmm. what, what's the next slogan we're going to chase? The greatest racial disparity in the city of Milwaukee is getting shot and killed. Hello. 80% of my homicide victims every year are African-American. 80% of our aggravated assault victims are African-American. 80% of our shooting victims who survived their shooting are African-American. Now they know all about the last three people that have been killed by the Milwaukee Police Department over the course of the last several years. There's not one of them can name last, one of the last three homicide victims we've had in this city. When you think that there's people in your community that want to kill you, they want to harm you, incarcerate, take your freedom away, it's going to make you mad. And the lies that they're perpetuating is causing people to be more aggressive. They pull you over for a traffic stop, you don't want to roll your window down. Oh, no, bro, I ain't got to do this. And they're telling people how to disobey police and law enforcement. Some of the comments that you made last night about uh, shooting uh, the suspects, possibly, and the some comments today about the uh, ready for a gunfight, was that in the heat of the moment? Do you have any regret about that in light of what No, no, I don't know. I, I not only have no regret, I'm pretty excited about telling you that's exactly what would have happened. But this community's at risk all of it. And it's not because men and women in blue risk their lives protecting it. It's at risk because we have large numbers of high capacity quality firearms in the hands of remorseless criminals who don't care who they shoot.